I know people despise the Ashaba, but I appreciate the sacrifice. This bird will do nicely. The sacrifice Samir made. No end to those winged rats. Not that I'm complaining. Every feather's worth a fortune in gold to us now. You one of the magistrate's charges? I'm only shooting the ones in town, don't worry. Don't think about trying to cut in. Danim's got an exclusive relationship with the magistrate. She gets wind of any shenanigans. Not my concern. I get paid for feathers regardless. Go talk to some of the townsfolk if you're that curious. The magistrate's the one who runs this town. Tell him I've got some more feathers coming his way. to the skies, friend. The harpies like to swoop down and grab whatever's light enough to carry. I've lost two hats and a goat's feather bills. Only after they've sucked you dry. I refused to pay their protection fee, and the next day my house was ransacked. I'll keep my own watch for harpies coming near from now on. Except entertainment, I can only guess. It's not like one can ask a beast why it acts so. It is simply its nature. Does no one care? I'll be right down. You're a new face to me, unlike that flappy buzzard over the barn. What? These birds aren't aggressive. I've had horses do more damage to me than any harpy, and I've had more trouble with these mercenaries than I've ever had with either steed or bird. I saw them steal four sacks of good grain from Zilron, a Khajiit merchant, and in the Magistrate's name, mind you. Him? <laughs> Ran off, no doubt. Who knows what he does, or where he hides after he's run amuck in the market. He trades more than just grain, if you ask me. You won't be the only one looking for that furry tail, wretch. Poor Silron's tail is pecked bare. This inn used to be the jewel of Kozenset. It will take months to recoup our losses, maybe years. Have you been to Morrowind? I haven't, but I hear the Dark Elves live inside bugs of all things. Welcome to the... the... Oh, by Zet's tears, I cannot do it. My inn is ruined. Harpies. Those accursed creatures tore my inn to pieces. His inn has been in my family for three generations. These bed frames, pillows, and carpets. This is our heritage. Years of memories. Torn asunder in a moment. Picking drunken fights with beggars, or bullying old women, I have no doubt. They are worse than useless. Fair winds to you, and a steady grip on the haft. If you need a bed there, there are still some to be had. Perhaps the next time you come through town, we'll be back to normal. Perhaps. Always oh, Silvron beset by a winged menace. I've been found. Oh, 
but you are neither Harpy nor Gold Coast Fiend. What a relief. You would be too if you heard those beasts, those screeching, pecking, clawing beasts. This one had hoped the mercenaries would take care of our bird woman problem, but no. Now Zilron has two problems. Oh yes, they help themselves to my gold and my goods, and sometimes they help against the harpies. So, I wait here. Sooner or later, one of Zilron's problems will go away. Harpies. Bullies with swords. Fangs of Sep, what other plagues must we weather? Of all the places for the Harpies to strike, they chose our beloved Cozen set. Tall Papa, help us. Adept, good to see you. The Harpies are much bolder. We need more coin, for supplies and the like. I've heard disturbing rumors about your methods. Have you heard about the Traveler stirring up trouble in town? And look who's here. Keep your opinions about our work to yourself. A desperate man turns his back on wisdom. Better to unleash a pack of rabid hounds than for our magistrate to welcome into town cutthroats like the Gold Coast mercenaries. Dogs and son of dogs, all of them. Dealing with the Harpies as fast as we can, I assure you. Now please, address any specific complaints to one of the guardsmen. Nothing. I have things under control. Got a reliable group to protect the town until we're self-sufficient again. And please, don't say anything to Deneen. She can get upset when the end of her tenure is brought up. She's the leader of the Gold Coast Mercenary Troop. I hired them to make up for our shoddy defenses when the Harpies attacked. They get the job done, and that's about as much as I'll say. Death and attrition. The two greatest enemies. Our guards either fell to the withered hand, or one of the other perils of being a guardsman. It's my responsibility to keep this town safe, so I look to other sources. Deneen doesn't like competition, and I'm certainly not going to endanger our business arrangement. If I were you, I would keep my stay here brief. Now if that's all, I'm sure you can see yourself out. Father, you need to know what's going on out there. Who is this? Someone come to help? Enough. I have no patience for your theories. Fine. If you want the truth, come talk to me. Meet me at my house. It's at the edge of town, past the smithy. I'll tell you everything I know. See you soon, I hope. It's not safe to talk in the streets. Now I can speak openly. Be at ease. The mercenaries dare not enter my home uninvited. I watched you long before you spoke to my father, Magistrate Andrin Atlehil. You spoke to people in town and listened to their answers. Are you actually interested in helping? I'm the Magistrate's daughter. Raised here, though now I am a traveling merchant. I came back when I heard of the town's troubles. My father insisted he had it under control. Now I'm doubly sure I returned at the right time. The Gold Coast mercenaries, our supposed saviors from the Harpies, are our problem. They extort and steal from the good people here. And what's more, they've done nothing but make our Harpy issues worse. Since Denim and her friends arrived, the Harpies are angry with the town. They're usually nothing more than flying rats. The Harpies can attack, yes, but only when provoked. And I know the mercenaries are the ones who've provoked them. The mercenaries hid Harpy eggs around Kozenset, 
Naturally, the harpies want the eggs back. That's the root of the town's harpy trouble. We must find and return their eggs so one problem is solved. But first, follow me upstairs. Don't be frightened. This is a friend. The harpies are not our enemies. Will you help me convince the others? I rescued her from them. The mercenaries killed her mother and the other chicks in her brood. This creature had done no wrong, yet they would kill her to be paid for her feathers. I couldn't stand by and let that happen. Could you? It's the right thing to do, for us and them. I'll be waiting in the town square for you if you're willing. What do you say? Thank you. I can't do this on my own, and my father won't listen to me until I have proof. I don't think the eggs will be proof enough, but at least they will be safe. She comes and goes as she pleases. This is a wild creature, after all. I do not even name her for she isn't mine. Once their eggs are back in their ivories, the harpies won't attack Kozenset. And then we can deal with those mercenaries. Bring me the eggs. I'll wait for you by the town's well. Even though it's in the open, many people exchange goods there, so it won't look suspicious. Since we heard from you, sweetheart, we started thinking you might have run off. You're quite light on your feet. Let me see the eggs. Thank you for doing this. I'm sure not all of the eggs survived, but the least we can do is return them to the harpies. I don't have proof, but I know it was the mercenaries that did this. Who else could be so cruel? Hold a moment. Someone's coming. Go oh, back to selling trinkets, leisure. You do your job and we'll do ours. You hid those eggs on purpose, didn't you? Say no more, child. We haven't time for troublemakers. They're up to something. They must be. We have to find out what they're doing. The mercenaries go in and out of the warehouse next to my home. There's got to be a reason. Why don't you go there and find out what they're doing? One of them will let slip what their game is. Hide somewhere and listen to their chatter. I'll take these eggs back to my house for now. We can go to the Iry later to put them back.
This is getting tiresome. I almost preferred the harpies. Harpies are the least of your problems if you don't pay up. We've got your gold. No need to make threats. Let's see it then. Better not have shorted me. It's all there. We don't want to end up like the others. Good. I'll be back next week. Prices might be going up. Come on, Uramaji. Merciful Ruka, how long must we put up with these thieves? responsible one. I told her not to trust those creatures, and now look what's happened. My daughter was stolen away by the Harpies. She and several other people from Kozen set. Their blood is on your hands. Deneen told me about your meddling. Not yet. They say they must prepare for another raid by the Harpies before they send anyone out on the sands. It's only right that you find my daughter, since you helped her get into this mess. Outside town, on the hillside, where they keep their iries. Feeding our people to their young, no doubt. And you, you instigated this attack. You're alive. I thought they might have taken you, too. Some. The mercenaries decided I was worth more dead than alive. They threw me out with a few others, beaten and bound. That's when the jackals came. Thanks to the harpies, I didn't end up like the other. Well, this one did, and she brought some of her friends. They chased away the jackals and brought me to shelter. We must stop the mercenaries before any more innocents die, whether harpies or villagers. We don't need any more bloodshed. If there's a way we can end this without fighting, we must. I have an idea. Find my father. Ask that harpy out there to get you to town. I'll be behind you.
You're here! Did you find my daughter? What? That's ridiculous. Why would they want to abduct the very people I'm paying them to protect? I will. Where is she? Is that her over there? What nerve! Running your mouth right in front of me! You've disgraced our town long enough! Ugh! A rotten egg? Don't think this is over, child. Gather everyone who will stand with us to drive these bad eggs out of town. Father, the dead can't offer their forgiveness, but I can. Stand with us. That's the one Leisure said to wait for. Let's go. About time we ran these charlatans out of our town. Leisure said you'd come. Let's head to the guardhouse. The harpies are congregated around this building. Looks like the mercenaries took something every bit as valuable as the harpies' eggs. I've no idea, but we need to restore goodwill with our flying neighbors. Even my father is in there to negotiate the mercenaries' departure. They should be out soon. The villagers, I mean. They want to cast Danim from the town themselves. She's a coward and a bully. Once her nature's revealed, my father won't let her back into Kozenset. We'll need to return whatever she took to the harpies on the balcony. Head inside and find it. I'll try to convince them we're all friends. Take your hands off me! Your pitiful town won't survive without our protection. We can do without you. Go, and never return. And we'll run out anyone else who tries to bully us, too. May the sands take your accursed town! If we see you again, we'll throw you to the harpies! The harpies Matria. Is this the reason they started attacking in the first place? Take that, her body to the upper balcony. Guess that's what all those harpies are up there waiting for. I don't know if the Harpies will ever be able to trust us. Maybe this is the first step. What do you think? Who knows how long those fiends kept the Harpies agitated just to take advantage of this town. If I hadn't returned when I did and gotten your help, they'd continue to terrorize my people and these Harpies. Give her to me. I still need to return their eggs, so I'll take her as well. Looks like I'll be around for a while. Though we disagree on many things, my father will need help regaining the town's trust. And I miss this place. Harpies and all. Being a trader taught me how to get along with people, no matter what their form. I'll make a good magistrate myself someday, don't you think? <laughs>